Hello there. Today I would like to show you something rather simple. That is the measurement of temperature, humidity, and pressure using a simple BME 280 sensor. But before we can go into detail of how to be able to use that sensor, let's first have a small look at the sensor itself. So this is our sensor. It is very simple to wire up and this one we are going to be using one which is using the i2c protocol but there are others which are using the spi protocol but in this case they are all very easy to use here yeah, the major component as you can see here this sensor is rather small it's mainly used in mobile devices and the major component is this bme280 chip which is used for measuring the humidity temperature and pressure and it is rather very accurate let's have a look at the back side yeah the back side as you can see it has on this side we have a voltage regulator i don't know if you can see it is really small there's a voltage regulator this side and then it also has a level shifter this side so this will enable it to be able to use devices which are using 5 volts level like for example the Arduino here we are using so that is the simple structure of this sensor so from here you can talk about something small about the code that you are going to be using to use this sensor with Arduino before you can be able to wire it up with any other device for example in this case I'm going to be using this sensor with this TFT display screen here but uh, before you can be able to use that let me first show you how the sensor works and the kind of code and maybe some libraries that you may need to be able to use this sensor so let's first test our sensor if it is working properly and this is done by simply wiring the sensor alone without any other device onto the Arduino and since it is using the I2C protocol in this case, we are simply going to put the V, you know, the VCC is going to be wired to Arduino 5 volts. Then we have the ground to ground, and then we have the clock pin is going to go to F5 of the Arduino board, and the data pin goes to F4 of the Arduino board. Then from here, we can be able to upload some test code and observe the results on the serial monitor. So let's try that out and see. We need to first install some two main libraries here. So we got sketches, include and then manage libraries. From here, you can be able to input the libraries that you want. The first library is the Adafruit BME library. So this is the library you have. I've already installed it, so if you don't have it installed, install. Make sure you have this library installed. Then after that, there's another one, which you call the Adafruit Unified Sensor. So we have this Adafruit Unified Sensor library, which is also very important in quite a number of projects for Arduino. Most cases, if you've been doing very many other projects before, you must probably have this already installed so you don't need to install it again but if you haven't used it before you need to install it again the other fruit unified sensor so after installing those two libraries then we can be able to see an example of how we can test our sensor so from here we go to file we open examples and from examples we look for that Adafruit BME to edge the library. Then we begin with the BME to edge zero test. This one is done which tests the sensor. So we click here and open up that library. So this is our library here. These are the two libraries that we are going to use for this code. We need the wire.h because we are using the I2C protocol. Then we have the ad Adafruit sensor and the Adafruit BME280.h libraries. 
then we also have the sea level pressure which is 1013.283 this one is very important if you are going to be using the sensor to measure the altitude as you're going to be seeing here so let's upload this code and then we we'll see what we get so you can see here we have finished uploading the code and from here we can be able to test whether our sensor is working properly using the serial monitor so we open up our serial monitor here so this is our serial monitor you can see the serial monitor shows you the temperature the pressure the approximate altitude and the humidity maybe one thing you should note about the serial monitor is the altitude is negative and that is because the altitude depends on the sea level, level pressure that we have used remember in our case is 1013.25 and then in this case the altitude is just using a reference so if you have correct readings from the sensor using that you need to get the approximate or you need to get the exact sea level pressure from maybe the nearby airport or weather station reference point near your place where you can be able to get the exact sea level pressure so maybe let me go back to the code and i show you what i mean so from the code here you see the sea level pressure i've used is 1013.25 so if I change this one and then I use this like this is like where I am I can change this and use this so I can comment out this and uncomment this other one so we have to change the sea level pressure now to 1039.76 so let's upload this and then we see what we are going to get for our altitude so as you see here now the temperature is still the same and the pressure is almost the same but in this case the altitude is now positive so that's one of the challenges that you are going to find but it's not a, a very big challenge it can only be corrected by getting the exact sea level pressure of the point where you are because remember the sea level pressure changes from place to place so if you don't know the sea level pressure and use the a default one sometimes you are going to get a negative altitude so from there we have tested our sensor that is working and then we can be able to use it in a number of our projects so you can now have a simple setup here we are going to be using this 1.44 inch st7735 tft display so that you can be able to show the temperature, humidity and pressure being read by this sensor. So we are going to wire up our devices as shown up here. I'll be putting the schematic and you can also check the description below for the link to the schematic and code which I'm going to be using in this setup. So. From here we can be able to upload a simple code and see what we are going to be observing here so when the code is uploaded we are able to observe from this st7735 gft display that we have the temperature here the humidity and the pressure all of these are being measured by this bme 280 sensor so that's my simple tutorial for today Hope you have enjoyed what I presented. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also check out my other videos. Thanks for watching.